Welcome back to Dartmoor. It's uh, two weeks since I was here. I'm going to try and uh, catch up with a bit of camping. We're going to be here for a few days as usual. We've got a brand new, well actually it's not brand new, it's uh, about eight or nine or maybe even ten years old tent. Uh, some of you will have seen it before. It's never ever been used <laughs> for camping, even though I've had it for a very long time. So I thought it was about time I get it out. <laughs> Talking about the tent. So you'll see what it is in a minute. Well, good morning everybody. Cheers. I say good morning, it's actually afternoon. It's uh, 20 past two. Sorry, <laughs> 20 past two. It's 20 past 12. I've got the uh, Rolex Yachtmaster on a blue I've got the Rolex Yachtmaster on a blue, blue shark <laughs> NATO strap today. So for all you Rolex haters out there, <laughs> goodbye. Oh, oh, the fun and games of a YouTuber. Okay, I'm going to address you lot later on. Right, well, as you can see, we might be able to see, I've put the... Uh, lavalier um, not attached to this well I'm not attached this to myself because in another video which I don't think I've edited yet um, well I think it's on the computer to do I had this I think it's on a camera video I think it's on a camera video that's right and I think I'm talking about cameras and I got it up here um, and it kind of worked <laughs> it actually worked quite well to be honest but it did get me thinking that maybe I ought to get this attachment um, thing. So I've just got it and I've hooked it up here. I've still got the <laughs> typical Jeremy Clarkson top gear thing. I know you all bloody hate him too. Um, <laughs> there's a miserable people around. And <laughs> so I haven't taken the label off yet as they never did on, on top gear. I'll take it off later on. I haven't quite figured out um, the workings of it um, yet. Yeah. Well, obviously you attach it to that and stick that to, to yourself and, and everything else like that. I did get, um, and they came literally um, the morning that I left, which was yesterday morning, these fluffy things that go over this. And, and I got these sticky things that also, um, attach and go under clothes. Now, it looks like to use that sticky thing, you've got to take this white cover off. Um, I, I tried pulling it, but it didn't want to come off. So I'm not quite sure. I don't want to, it was like 60, 60 pounds just for this bit of wire and to plug in there and then to go around your, your neck with a warning, don't strangle yourself. Yeah, I've got to figure out how that thing comes off. And then I might look to see how these work. I just brought them really just to have a look at. Um, most of the time, I'll probably, probably just still use this because I just think it's, frankly, just more convenient. I'm not quite sure how convenient this wire thing's going to be. I can already feel it sort of irritating me um, there. So anyway, we'll give it a crack. Following on from yesterday, I settled in for the night. I tried um, a time lapse and I'll see how it comes out. I'll uh, add it in somewhere. It wasn't as successful as, as the last time lapse, it has to be said. Um, first of all, it was a very windy night last night. So the tripod blew over. So 
that's the first thing for me to to note that if it's very windy my tripod you know even though it's a gitzo it's a still a lightweight tripod and it's not going to uh stand up so i did extend the legs out much wider because you can you can widen the legs <laughs> you spread your legs wide um so i you know i did that and uh and then it didn't blow over but then after about an hour or so it started hammering it down with rain and i i have ordered the uh the door thing that goes on the side of the gopro and that arrived yesterday afternoon, but while I was on the way down here. So I'll have that for next time. I was hoping it might have come in the morning or before I actually actually left. I saw a mum for an hour or two. Um, sort of left home, had an hour or two of a mum. And I was kind of like hoping that it might have arrived in that time. Then I could have just nipped back and grabbed it, but uh, it didn't. I needed to get going eventually. So I'll have that for next time. Well, good morning everybody. It's at quarter past 11. I haven't changed my watch yet. <laughs> I kept the watch. I'm, I'm gonna annoy everybody now on this channel now about Rolex. <laughs> I'm gonna annoy everybody. But apart from the, uh, the happy souls that are happy to have fun, <laughs> I'm gonna annoy the miserable uh, booba. <laughs> <laughs> so you started something now. Right. Okay, well it's Thursday morning, 6th of uh, May. I've been awake, uh, not very long actually. Um, I was a bit silly last night. So I went to bed, well actually I was in, <laughs> got into a sleeping bag. Around about, well let's have a, of course, I'm going to have um, some dog action while I'm, <laughs> doggy action. <laughs> We can have some doggy action while I'm talking. Um, she always finds something to do when I start talking. So we went to bed around about... Um, no, sorry. So I got into the sleeping bag around about six-ish. Mind you, I didn't really go anywhere. I was here all, uh, all, all day. I went for a short walk. And that was it. And... I got into the sleeping bag about six properly. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you hobbling for? What have you done now? Hmm? What are you hobbling for? You stay there because I've got to have some breakfast in a minute. Where's our friend from New Zealand? He hasn't he he been on yet, has he? Do you, think, do you think he's one of the ones that doesn't like Rolex watches? <laughs> Come on, someone down in New Zealand must like Rolex watches. Come on, New Zealand man, where are you? <laughs> Conspicuous by your absence. <laughs> right, have, have, some more, have some more dog action, that'll bring New Zealand man. Johnny boy, where are you, Johnny boy? <laughs> Alright, we'll be, we'll be back with you in a minute, Lassie. We're not ignoring you. I've put her food down, well, I had put her food in the bowl. But she always just tips it on the ground anyway. So this time I thought, well, if you're going to tip it on the ground, I'll just, uh, I'll just put it on the ground. Because all she does is I put it in the bowl, and then she just she tips it all out, and then she does this nosing business. So it's just nosing to sort of push grass over it or something. I'm not quite sure what the what the idea of that is at all. A type of water up as well in a minute. Okay, so anyway, I got into the sleeping bag around about six o'clock and I started watching a film. Um, I think Marvel's um, Captain America uh, Civil War. I'd only seen it once before. All the ones before I've seen like several times. Um, but that one I'd only seen once before, so it was quite interesting to watch that again. And... I don't know, about half past seven, something that like I started feeling like really, really, really tired. So I just put my head down and the next thing I knew it was about half past nine or something like that. So of course I did a bit of a silly thing and I carried on watching A Winter Soldier. I probably should have um, just put my head, st stayed asleep, <laughs> probably. Because I'd eaten, I'd, I'd eaten, I'd done everything that I needed 
um, to do, or was it, yeah, I think it was something like that, or was it eight or nine o'clock when I was feeling tired and then I put my head down. Anyway, whatever it was, I woke up a couple of hours later and I probably, I probably should have um, stayed asleep. Anyway, I carried on with a winter soldier and I, don't, I must have only seen a very small bit of it before I um, turned it off to go to sleep. And then I started watching it and I watching it and watching it and watching it and then I couldn't stop watching it. <laughs> And between sort of, you know, pausing it, because I had to pause it a few times because the battery gets low on my tablet. And I found it's better to charge the tablet up when I'm... Um, so rather than me holding this, let me... Just mind me while I'm talking to myself. Maybe if I sort of plonk that there and angle that like that. Maybe we can try that. Okay, let me try that. So... Yeah, so I've, I've discovered that, uh, you know, if you're charging your tablet up, it's, it's better to actually not turn it off, but, but not use it, um, you know, turn the screen off. Because otherwise, you put, you're using your power pack. Oh, I've got a new power pack as well. Um, so I've, I've, I've actually, I say a new one, I've added this, <laughs> I've added this one. So I've, I've added a power pack. With all these cameras and everything, I thought better... Um, and as I'm staying, you know, like the, the, the four days and three nights um, each time now, I need as much power as I can, as I can get. And the last thing I want to do is to actually run out of power, because I like, I, li I like watching my films. It kind of what keeps me going out here, really, apart from, you know, talking mumbo jumbo. And <laughs> the one or two of you that are interested. So... So basically, in a nutshell, I finished uh, A Winter Soldier, and then um, it was like one o'clock in the morning, and I probably should have really have gone to sleep sooner. But I mean, at least I was relaxing here. Quite interesting, actually, to see what my... Um, oops, not that button there. What my watch says for my sleep. It still thinks I'm sleeping, so I tell it I'm not sleeping anymore. Oh, it's funny, really. Okay, I know I don't understand how it works out sleep. Very, very interesting because last night, uh, well, the night before, I slept for about twelve hours, and I felt that for most of that sleep, I was actually uh, asleep. <laughs> Bizarrely, um, because two nights ago, so obviously. So, um, Tuesday night I think I fell asleep about half past ten I woke up at around about seven for about an hour I had a tea and just I think I had a, <laughs> I had a pee and everything so by the time you've done all that it was maybe about an hour had passed and then I think I fell asleep again until around about half past ten or eleven and yesterday I fell asleep but it said, but it said I only had eight hours sleep. But I felt like I'd had a lot more than eight hours sleep. So I don't know how these 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 most things measure your sleep. Anyway, last night obviously I had two hours sleep ish at about seven or eight o'clock, six, seven, seven or eight o'clock, something like that. A couple of hours. Well, the weather I was actually asleep for all of that, God alone knows. I don't think it even took that into. Um, consideration. Uh, I don't think it did, no. <laughs> I just had light sleep for nearly the whole... <laughs> it says I had light sleep for... Right, light sleep for... Six hours, 15. Now I felt like I was awake <laughs> for that time. I thought I'm never gonna fall asleep. Last night I actually felt like I'm never ever gonna fall asleep. It was, I felt a bit, it wasn't cold, but the night before I had my down jacket on and that kept me quite 
cosy because as I keep saying I'm a freezing cold sleeper so the night before I had this on and I felt quite cosy and I'm sure I slept quite long um, but last night I, I took it off which is I think a bit silly and I was I always felt a bit cool and I felt like I wasn't falling asleep so I felt like I was awake, but this is saying that I, that I had light sleep for 6 hours, 13 minutes, REM sleep for 1 hour, 20, no deep sleep at all, it says 0 minutes for deep sleep, and awake for 1 hour, 8 minutes. It does say you did not get enough deep sleep. <laughs> I don't get enough deep of anything. <laughs> Um, this may impact your energy level today. <laughs> it says uh, long but light sleep, score 83, quality um, good. Interesting. It says you went to bed late last night. I'm <laughs> getting told off my, by my watch. You went to bed late last night, which may have impacted your sleep quality. Try to stick to to a regular sleep schedule to improve your sleep quality. And mind you, it was earlier last night than it usually is. It's a shame it doesn't, um, it's a shame it doesn't do the night before um, sleep. It only seems to do um, that. Anyway, I don't know what it would say about the night before. Let's have a look on here and see what it says. Body battery today, 94. That's not bad. But they, obviously that's that's now because it sort of measures it as the day goes by. Yesterday the body battery high was 70. And the day before 62, and the day before that, we won't even talk about the days before that. Were, yeah, we won't go into those. Okay. <laughs> right, let's sleep. Yesterday I had a uh, Eight hours, 37 sleep. And it felt like quite good sleep as well, actually. So yesterday, as in Tuesday night, was one hour, 44 deep sleep, 54 minutes REM sleep, strangely two and a half hours awake, and five or well, six hours of light sleep. And it, and it knows, it's because it can see yes, last night, or the night before, it, it knows I went to sleep at uh, 10.45 and woke up at 11.20. Actually, I think it was about 11.20 I woke up yesterday thinking about it. And today, yes, you see, I fell asleep, it had light. Light sleep from 1.50. I was awake from for one. Uh, yeah, I was awake there. That's when I had a cup of tea. And there, there was me thinking I was awake most of the night. But the watch is uh, telling me I slept. I slept well. Anyway, that's enough of my uh, talking about that. I was talking about something and I've forgotten exactly what I was. Uh... Oh, Les has just finished her food. Yeah, that's, that's her food gone. Um, so anyway, I was talking about sleep, wasn't I? And yeah, so here we are now, awake. It's half past eleven. Um, okay, so you or you may have noticed. <laughs> have you noticed the the inner has changed? Well, you should have done because it's it'll be in another video. <laughs> it'll be in the video on the. Tarp tent scarp two probably. And I changed the inner round just to uh give you so that was Lassie's. Lassie has her own quarters in this one. 
So I just have had to zip open a tiny bit so she could, uh, I've opened it more now. But there isn't enough room on my side here for a lassie and I don't want lassie inside. So she slept there, it worked okay actually. It's a nice tent. I've been, um, I, I've been knocking it um, the whole time. <coughs> obviously because it's not mountain laurel designs but it's um it has its it's a nice tent it's a nice tent i think i think i think some people would would like it a lot i think you know it's 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 all very well me you know tent bashing every two minutes i think you know i i'm, I'm always trying to be fair and everything obviously i'm very biased um you know, I'm definitely an MLD fanboy. You know, I'm definitely biased, but I do try to put, you know, a fair, um, a fair spin on it. You know, and it is, you know, given that it's like 10 years old, it stood up well to the test of being packed away in, in my camping room and, and never being used. I really don't know why I never <laughs> I never got it out of my expression. Um, I never really sort of thought about it, to be honest, even though I knew it was there. Um, you know, I kept using the Hillybergs um, now and again. And, and I think, you see, this, this is another slight, um, slight problem with it in that, I pitched last night, so the back, there's no point in me turning it around, but I'm, I'm looking um, west. The forecast said that the wind would be from the west <laughs> and the sort of the southwest and the northwest. Uh, so basically those three quadrants there, not really from the north, uh, but maybe like the northwest, which is in that direction. Now clearly the northwest is kind of where this door is here where, where my hand is pointing so um obviously if i was pitching the trail star or tap or something like that i'd be pitching clearly the tail to the to the wind and the super mid or to any of those and the door would be facing the east so realistically at no point would I have much, if any, breeze, unless the wind did a 180, would I have any wind, you know, coming in? Now, obviously, clearly, most of the times, again, I'm being a bit unfair, but I'm, I'm pointing it out as well. You know, mostly, of course, you're going to be pitching for one night and then you're going to be, you know, shifting on. I tend to pitch for three nights to stay in the same, in the same place at the moment. But, um, of course, the door, well, the tail is facing west, you know, I'm trying to get, really, you lot ought to just, just, just talk for me, you could probably, probably do it a lot quicker, uh, but of course, the door is facing north, so if you do get, if the wind does swing around to, um, or even in the night, really, or, you know, when you're waking up the next day, it's not, it doesn't matter if you're here for, you know, a couple of days or what, but if you, you know, if the wind swings around to the, like, the northeast or even the north, then you've got a wind coming straight in your door. Whereas in the mids, and that's the same probably with any tent with a door on the side, you know, let's, let's face it. Um, so even the acto would be the, you know, would be the same. Um, you know, when the wind does swing around like that, you do have, you know, the wind coming in the door. But if you do the door up, as long as this door's done up here, because uh, if you had this, this door open here, you'd have a breeze going straight through. So I suppose in the summer, if you're using this as a summer tent, if you open this door and, and this door, and then the outer, you've actually probably got quite a nice, um, you know, bit of air coming through. So maybe as a, you know, as a summer tent, this could probably be quite nice for a, a tank compared to, you know, Hillybergs, which only have one door on one side, unless you go for those super heavy, heavyweight ones. So, you know, there's definitely a lot of, um, 
advantages, you know, to this, to this shelter, you know, if you're looking for it, you know, for a tent, um, you know, there's definitely a lot going for it. It's just, it just doesn't, it just doesn't quite tick. It just doesn't quite tick my box of it. You know, I'm not a big fan of having my cooking stuff, you know, there. I've got no choice but to have it there, clearly. But it is effectively in in the open, which is fine. I mean, uh, luckily it hasn't blown away, so it's worked out well. You know, it's worked out fine. Another um, in in the mouth shot from Lessie. Um, so it's actually worked. It's worked out well. You know, and then obviously I've just got my shoes and and other bits and bobs down there. So. Yeah, you know, it has worked out. Let's see, go back. So, you know, it has worked out well enough. All right, let's, let's have a gratuitous um, Lassie shot because everybody loves, <laughs> nobody's interested in me. Let me come I'm over here. Come here then. Let's have a Lassie shot for everybody. Come on. That. Oh, Lassie. Yeah, right, don't get too carried away though, okay? Because I've got the sleeping bag on me and that's delicate too. <laughs> oh, let's see. At least he's dry. You've had some good, apart it's been very windy, that's the only thing. We've had a lot, <laughs> a lot of wind. We've had a lot of wind too. That's <laughs> all that food. <laughs> Look at that. No. More posh. <laughs> posh dog, haven't you? <laughs> You're a posh dog, aren't you? <laughs> would you wear a Rolex too if you were, if you could, would you? <laughs> Do you think there's some miserable people out there too? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know I agree, yes. <laughs> oh dear. Oh let's see. We just ignore the miserable people, don't we? We don't care, do we? No, we don't care, no. We're not talking to you, we're talking to each other. <laughs> uh, we better actually try and get on and actually do something. Not that there's really that much to do today, we're just going to relax and do nothing today. I'll try and do a bit more video on something, but... <laughs> it's uh, crappy, does it? Sweet FA. <laughs> Mm. All right. Okay. All right. Well, I think it's time to. Uh, I've, I've not had a breakfast yet, so I think we ought to maybe have have some breakfast. Good girl. Oh, you are a good girl. <laughs> oh. Ah, all right. Go back. All right, that's enough of uh, <laughs> that's enough of shaking the dog. <laughs> I made myself last last time, and then someone else. Oh, I think was oh, get my ass up on that. Um, <laughs> someone's new on the uh, <laughs> on the channel. <laughs> I still made myself laugh when I think about bumping that concert. <laughs> oh. Only my brain could think of these things, and it still makes me laugh. That <laughs> still cracks me up. Uh, still cracks me up that one. <laughs> oh god, there's no way. All right, I've gone back to the the simple snap-on thing here. I did do a video on. Um, if I can find it. I just tipped everything out now. I did get one of these um, microphone things that you can, you know, you can plug in, but, and I'll probably maybe use it. Ah, oh, sure, I need that for my hands. Um, and I might use it from time to time. Um, but really just from time to time. Oh, I did have a funny dream last night. For some reason I had, I had the same dream as I had ages ago. I had this dream ages ago where there was some monstery thing trying to have 
trying to get into a into a room or something and I had the same dream last night where I was in the same room um trying to hide from a, from a monster I don't know what kind of monster it was but I was in a room trying to hide from a monster and then there was a strange man <laughs> strange man in the, I don't know who the strange man was because he was saying I'm not interested in the strange man but there was a strange man in in the in the room and <laughs> oh dear and then I was thinking to, thinking to myself it's like in, in a film when you're watching a film and then like just out of nowhere just like strange you know one or two strange, I don't mean strange, strange, but you know what I mean. Strange men or women or characters, you know, come into the film in some sort of monstery film or something like that. And you know they've only brought them in so that they can get eaten or killed or tramped upon or something like that um, two minutes later on. And I was just thinking, when I was in this strange room, or this room, in, a, in this dream, hiding from a monster, and then this, this strange man appears in the room, my mind while I was sleeping in the dream, was thinking that man is only there so that he can get killed by this monster and not me. I think I woke up before in, before the monster came in, but uh, it's, uh, it may, maybe it's because I'm making videos and things like that. Maybe my, my Steven Spielberg is, is coming out. <laughs> Something's coming out, I don't know what. Okay, well, it's uh, five o'clock in the afternoon. And we've just been having a pretty relaxing afternoon, really. I just did a, a very small video down there on me as a YouTuber. <laughs> so I'll just give you a... I'll give you a quick walk around the... Scarp 2, as we've got some sunshine on it. The sun has been uh, a little bit few and far between this trip. And you'll probably be pleased to know I haven't done quite as much video as last time, although there's probably going to be uh, quite long pieces. But I have done... Uh, some video on the scap and my thoughts on it. I'll do some more tomorrow as a as a closing down verdict on this shelter. Well, good evening. What I've done is I've unplugged the Road Go and the and the attachment that goes on me here, and I've plugged the the wire directly I was going to try to show you but you can't see behind the back directly into the back of the GoPro so this is effectively um, I'm wired from here to the back of the GoPro and I'm just thinking save the battery in the road go because I sure I only got about an hour of using the road go so I'm not using this I think I only got about an hour of the road go earlier on I'm starting to get a little bit short but not very short on power anyway I brought the 13,000 uh, milliamp hours power pack that's now dead my two my two 10,000, one, two milliamp hour power packs are dead. And my 20,000 milliamp power pack has two lights. So theoretically, there's still 50% in this one here. That, so that's, um, there's a 20,000. So there's effectively... 10,000 milliamp hours left in there which is the equivalent of one of these. A GoPro has 
79% power plus I have one spare battery for the GoPro so I've got plenty of power for the GoPro so I'm not going to need any more power for the GoPro I've done two time lapses one last night and one the night before although the one the night before was quite short because of the weather my Sony Alpha camera that's around about a hundred percent so that should be plenty in there these I've charged up and like I said I've disconnected this one that's attached to the GoPro they're fully charged so they should be should be plenty for tomorrow so camera wise microphone wise should have stacks left without any power the only thing that may need power is my phone that's on 46 percent so that will need charging up and then the tablet and that's on about 75 percent and given that i'll be watching a film tonight plus tomorrow on and off during the day until i get going mid mid early mid afternoon um then i'll obviously need power for that so i've used more than i was expecting to be honest and i haven't really made that much film i've been talking a lot so maybe that's just used a lot of power um, but that's my sort of daytime clothes in that corner there i've put a couple of bits in there ready to pack but literally just a, a fleece which i've not needed at all and the liner to the sleeping bag again which i've not needed uh, that's the mesh inner for the tent and then the rucksack and lass's pack lass's um, mat which she's not sleeping on she likes the grass but i brought it in case it's needed my down jacket which i probably will need later on obviously the camera bag which i probably will need later well, well tomorrow to go home um my glasses case which i've not used for sunglasses or oh, my hat for my head i will want that later rubbish don't forget take away all of your rubbish you know when you're out for three days well four days three nights like i am you know you're going to collect a lot of rubbish so make sure that you take all your rubbish with you and then obviously this is just uh the filters for the camera uh, a lead and a bungee cord spare microphone which obviously i used today when i wasn't expecting to um there's a few other bits and bobs in there just with some camera bits those sticky things for camera crackers uh, an ultraviolet torch which i might which for the fun of it um to get some loom on the watch but so that's rubbish really um that's for the gopro for time lapse and my glasses when needed from my poor eyes and then food and i've got the weather station outside today and then that's breakfast and dinner tonight which i'll probably finish and then there's nothing outside just some walking poles and obviously lastly that side and then outside here we've got the outside here is th this space is pretty free as i've mentioned before so you could certainly put the pack and what have you in that space there there's actually a bit more space there than than i was kind of thinking although i would still like more porch space I, i'd like to have plenty of porch space then my cooking here and then obviously water there and then one water outside effectively but you know you could get both waters in there just about 
And then this is just my nighttime corner here really. So gloves if it's cold at night or when I'm in camp, my hat for night, tea stuff, nibbles and obviously food over there. And then my hat for daytime that can go down there. And then I always put my torch, my head torch in the left hand corner. That's kind of like the, the head torch is almost one of the most important things to know exactly where that is. Because obviously if it suddenly gets dark and you can't find this or that, it doesn't really, you know, it doesn't really matter. But obviously you need to be able to know exactly where your head torch is. So my head torch just always goes in the top left hand corner and I virtually never put it anywhere else. And as you can see in this tent, I've got, you know, plenty of, of headroom. It's actually been really quite nice in here. You know, obviously I prefer my, um, you know, MLD shelters and what have you. But I must admit, it's been, it's been very enjoyable here. It has been, uh, it has been nice to, you know, use a tent for a change, I have to say. Okay, well, I think it's time. It's, uh, Craig, it's nearly eight o'clock. So I'm going to carry on with uh, Fear the Walking Dead. I really just wanted to take these couple of moments just to show you around and just see whether this wire thing would work because, um, you know, this is another good option that if the power fails or I just want to save battery power, then I can just plug this directly into the GoPro. And if I'm hand holding it, the wire is long enough, you know, that I can just do it directly that way. So that's, um, that's quite useful to know. And obviously I've just got the, the, you know, the dead cat thing just attached just down there. Okay, that probably is it until tomorrow and I'll see you in the morning. Okay, well, good morning everybody. It's uh, 10 to 9 for those in the know and wanting to know. And for those that are wanting not to know, it's 10 to 9. Um, I'm probably going to put my head back down again in a minute actually. I'm still quite tired. I slept well. I put my head down around about 10.30. Certain doggy woke me up at around about one o'clock, barking at something or other. I'm not quite sure what. And uh, I made one, in fact, I think I actually made two teas. So I felt a bit awake. And then I put my head down again about two o'clock and then slept through from about two until eight and I woke up and it was um, very very warm the warmest morning that it has been but then we've got clear blue sky and of course the sun out so I've done what is a good feature and I've opened up the door here completely and then obviously this side door is is opened completely and if you had the mesh in here you have even more air coming through. So, in some ways, you know, if you're in a if you're in a warm environment, you'd, you'd probably be just as well off with the mesh inner. Um, anyway, I might just sort of add on a tiny bit more to my um, Scap Two video on that. I just wanted to, you know, just to wish you good morning, really. Um, I'm literally down to one, less than one, this is going to start flashing soon, one bar um, on this power pack. All that power, I can't believe that I've actually got through it all. I don't know whether it's the old adage that if you have, um, you know, a, a massive, great, big um, rucksack, you end up filling it up, that if you have... Um, you know, four power packs rather than the usual three <laughs> that you just end up using more power. But I am 
just eking out this last um, drop of power, what I've basically done is I've taken the, the tablet to 65%, which should be enough to watch a film, maybe half of a film as well uh, during today, because I'm not really planning on going until this afternoon. So, but that should be enough. Um, in all honesty, 60 odd percent should be enough for what I need. My phone, which I've now put onto power saving, which I've now put onto power saving mode, is on 42 percent and charging, and the thing's not flashing yet. So, I should be able to get the phone up to at least 60 plus percent as well I think easily it might even fully charge it um, and r realistically you know I would have eked it eked the power out just about perfectly because the the two uh, microphones were on about a hundred percent yesterday because I made sure that recording stuff was fully charged the other camera the Sony camera here uh, that should be on a hundred percent yeah that's on a hundred percent the gopro i just looked is on that's on 57 percent so the gopro is on 57 percent but i do have a spare battery for it somewhere i'm not quite sure where it is at the moment but i do have a spare battery for the gopro so i can kind of be relatively free with the gopro and the camera I can be relatively free with. Um, maybe just be a bit cautious with the recording thing, which I've undone again on here. I've just got the wire directly. Um, I sent an email or a mess messenger to Rode saying, how long should this last? And they say in ideal conditions, oh, here we are. They say in ideal conditions, it should last seven hours. Now I did reply back, um, and I've not heard back yet, but it's still early. I only messaged them yesterday, so quick already. I did say, is that seven hours of standby use or seven hours of actual use? Um, because it was cool yesterday, but not freezing. So I'm kind of like curious, you know, as to how long, I might even do like a separate sub sub um video on it just to see what um because a lot of people are using these these things so i might just do a separate quickie on on that one okay well i think what i do is unless well, is having her food she's awake i've got the weather station going today I've done two time lapses on the GoPro and because I've done two time lapses on the GoPro, of course, that's meant I've not really been, haven't bothered putting the the GoPro, the uh, the Titan, the the weather station out. That's the only problem when you've got so much when you've got so much equipment. <laughs> um, you know, you you tend to only use bits. You can't use every single thing. <clears throat> I was impressed with this light, which you would have seen last night. Um, never you really used it properly before but that actually worked really well and that was only on the minimum power setting what you saw last night so that that worked um, that worked well so I'm definitely not a lightweight camper anymore <laughs> not an ultralight camper but the equipment that I'm using the, the camping part well obviously this tent isn't but you know, the tarps and that type of stuff is still ultra light and the, the equipment that I use is still ultra light. It's just because I I film and watch films and things like that. Obviously, I'm adding a lot of weight when it comes to power. And obviously, you know, I've added cameras and things like that. OK, well, it's coming up to three o'clock, so I'm going to start uh, putting the last few bits away. I've uh, just woken up Lassie. Her pack is there ready. Lead, 
her collars there ready to go on. Uh, the inner for the tent is ready to go in the pack. The tent obviously goes in here. I've just got my last tea on. I've literally finished the last drop of fuel. I've just got these last couple of bits here to go in the pack. The pack is, is all but packed. Uh, just my camera to go away and a few bits there. So those bits I will probably end up doing outside and maybe just try and film putting the tent away, which would be very exciting. But um, we'll probably end up doing that. Um, I've just done a two hour time lapse, which I will put somewhere or other. I didn't do any filming in tent. <laughs> in tent. I wasn't intent of doing any uh, filming earlier because I was doing the time lapse. And of course, doing the time lapse, you need the tripod. So I'm kind of. Uh, you could almost do with like <laughs> when you've got like two or three cameras and you're doing two or three different things in in camp um and then i had the weather thing as well you could almost do with about five, five tripods um so but anyway i've put most of everything in in the pack i'm just going to have this last cuppa and then i'm going to put the rest of everything else in the pack um or on the outside of the pack and then uh so it's coming up to three, get going in the next uh, half hour or hour. I make my way steadily back to the car. So from the general video, you know, of my camping video, this is probably um, it. So goodness only knows how long this one's going to be and whether I do it in one or two parts. Again, I've done several sub videos i don't think as many as last time but i've done several sub videos so hopefully you'll catch those over the coming weeks and i will see you back out here again either at the very end of may which is possible or of course um you know i will be back again in june and i will see you soon um, thanks for watching don't forget to check out the um Amazon affiliate links. I haven't really mentioned that so much, but just, you know, if you could um, just purchase something from one of those links below, even if it's something of, of your own, it doesn't have to be anything in the links, um, you know, would be um, useful because I don't want to lose all the time and effort um, that I did of, uh, you know, setting up all, all those links. If you could if one or two or three or four of you could just buy something, even if it's your own thing, I would be grateful. Sorry to bang on about that. I haven't really mentioned it so much this time. But thanks for watching and I will catch you again, you know, in the, in the very near future. Thank you. Oh, pardon me. Uh, oh, pardon me.